downloading Linux Mint ISO from an official website is crucial for safety and making sure that the ISO hasn't been tampered with and you get in an official copy of Linux Mint operating systems. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to download Linux Mint ISO from the official website so that you get a genuine copy of Linux Mint operating system. All right, let's get started. So first thing first, you got to go to the linuxmint.com website. It's going to take you to the official website of Linux Mint operating system. One of the best Linux Mint distributions in the world. In my opinion, after you get to the linuxmint.com, it's going to take you to the main page where it's going to show you the current version of Linux Mint. Right now in January 2025, it is Linux Mint 22.1 Xia and it is the latest version. It is a long term support release supported until April 2029, which is really good. So to download it, you just got to click on this download button over here. It's going to take you to the next page where you're going to choose which Linux Mint edition you want to choose. There are a few of them. The most popular version is Cinnamon. It has a slick and modern design. It is most innovative, but it requires more computer resources. So if you have a pretty powerful and new computer, I would suggest you go with the Cinnamon edition. If you have an older computer, you should try the XFCE edition, which is a lightweight edition of Linux Mint. And if you want to try out the classic desktop environment, you can try Mate edition. It is like something in between lightweight edition and more heavier and newer cinnamon edition let me show you how to do it with the cinnamon edition but you can do it the same way for all other versions just click on the download button and here it's going to show you the information about this edition it is actually pretty large three gigabyte not the largest one that i've seen but it is still pretty large for example nobara linux is like four and a half gigabyte but it includes a lot of drivers and apps already right out of the box. So to download this file, just scroll down to the download mirrors. And as you can see, there is only 64 bit versions. There used to be 32 bit versions before. So if you have a very old computer that only works with 32 bit operating systems, you need to find an older 32 bit Linux Mint or other Linux distribution. Unfortunately, Linux Mint has ceased to support any 32-bit operating systems. So I don't think you will be able to find a 32-bit operating system anywhere on this website. I was actually looking for it, but they seem to just eliminate it. So you actually need to find it on some third-party websites. But be careful because you need to trust those websites. Otherwise, I wouldn't suggest you download it from them. Anyway, if you're okay with a 64-bit operating system, Choose the closest server to you or simply click on the link for world. It should show you the download window. Just choose where you would download it to and click save. And it will start downloading right away. Since it's almost 3 gigabyte, it might take a bit of time and you need to have a good stable internet. But it's downloading pretty quickly. It's going to be only about one minute. But that's it. After you download it, you can go ahead and verify it. And if you want to know how to verify Linux Mint ISO. I have a separate video how to do that so you can check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description. Make sure to check it out before you flash it onto the USB drive because then you will avoid potential errors during flashing or installing Linux Mint operating system. Or if you want to know how to install Linux Mint completely, I have another video so make sure to follow through the link in the description. Anyway, this is it for today. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please support with a like. If you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. If you want to see more helpful videos, I have a full playlist of Linux, Mint and other Linux distributions, so make sure to check them out. But this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.